Kathy Giovanni, Master Chef finalist, he tried to impress Uncle Roger two times now, once with his ramen and then with his egg fire rice. Both times fail. This time he made Thai green curry. Can he win the highest honor of Asian cooking and become Uncle Nick? Let's see. Let's see. This video, sponsored by ExpressVPN, niece and nephew, Uncle Roger realized a lot of big tech companies so scary. They check every site you visit, every video you watch, and even how much time you spend on each. Every time Uncle Roger look at my ex-wife Instagram, big tech company can see that hiya. That's why I always use ExpressVPN. It make my web browsing more anonymous. So nobody can see me search for what is AuntieHelenHomeAddress.com. See? Just install and press the big button and now you protect it. ExpressVPN also let you change your online location. Do you know Netflix show you different show? Depending on where you live, Uncle Roger live in UK. Netflix UK don't have attack on Titan. But look at this, Uncle Roger changed location to Canada and now attack on Titan is on there. No matter where niece and nephew live, ExpressVPN can help you get thousand more show. Find out how you can get three month ExpressVPN for free by visiting expressvpn.com slash Uncle Roger. I'll click link in description box below. Today I'll be making an authentic Thai green curry or Genkyo Wan. That was nail. I nailed that. So we are on our way to the biggest and baddest Asian grocery store in Boston. This place has it all. This is our third and theoretically final time to try to impress Uncle Roger. Even when driving, Nephew Nick still fluent in language of hand hiya. Drive the car properly. And what with that jacket? You go into grocery store, not Antarctica. What, what? Puffer coat with short, who wear like that? Your top say winter and your bottom say you skip leg day. Again, the final ingredient we need is Thai eggplants. We found this very small store. We got them. But we just found another Thai market that has Thai eggplants instead of Japanese. We've got the proper ones. So what use is this Japanese eggplant to me anymore? Ugh, I make that joke every week, Joe. Is it purple or something? Why do eggplant always remind you of your pee? Without further ado, let's get started. Nice. To begin our paste, we're gonna first toast off one teaspoon of cumin and one teaspoon of coriander. Toasting is really gonna start to bring Toasting spices, correct? Toasting spice, a lot like checking your privilege. Many white people forget to do it. Bring out that flavor. And in my opinion, it is a necessary step to make the perfect card. Now the key to our paste is gonna be using a mortar and pestle and grinding this by hand. Mortar and pestle, that, that correct? For you. Tablespoon of white peppercorns. Our general rule of thumb is that we're gonna start with the harder ingredients in here. Oh, correct, paste, and correct. Gradually work in those softer ingredients throughout the paste. To begin, let's grind the- Hard to soft. Good technique for pestle and mortar. And hard to soft is also what Uncle Roger feel when I see nephew Nick in that ugly ass outfit. Sorry children. Okay, grinding. Once we grind it into a fine powder like this, we're ready to add that next ingredient, lemongrass. Lemongrass, correct. Now into our mortar we go with two stalks of chopped lemongrass. Immediately, I'm gonna grind again because of how what? brisk and hard. No, 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 the grinding work for dry spices, correct? But everything else, you need to pound. You need to go like this. Not like this. What is this motion? Go see how Mark Wien mother-in-law pound. That's what you need to do. Now it's time to prep our next few ingredients. Galanga. This here is galangal. And at this Correct. point, you have to chop up this, peel off some of that lumpy kaffir lime zest. And nice lime zest, about good. Seven or eight cloves of garlic. Garlic, good. And of course, whenever we add garlic or onions, we can't forget to add a little salt. Hiya, Osmo Salt. Osmo Salt is Nephew Nick own brand of salt. Not Uncle Roger, want my own line of MSG. Uncle Roger only have clothing as much. Like this Uncle Roger polo. See, if you want to get this polo with the Uncle Roger logo on it, this and Nephew, go to UncleRogerMerch.com and get this polo. And then wear it to come see me on tour next year. Uncle Roger will roast everybody in crowd who wear orange polo. You buy my merch and then you get roasted. That money well spent? Uncle Roger logo, white color. Because if I use black color, orange and black, just remind me of certain website. Once again, we grind. I found you. I'm with you. This part here the really is joke a again. process. I've been grinding this now for about 10 to 12 minutes and it looks like this. Going by hand with a mortar and pestle, this is about as fine as you're gonna get it. It takes so long because you're not pounding, you're just stirring. Nephew Nick, if you think this motion is pounding, 
then you have to apologize to your girlfriend. If your pounding make no sound, you fucked up. Niece and nephew, remember, pounding is in and out, not going in circle like some tumble dryer bullshit. What, he go into bedroom and then he just go, now it's time to crank up the heat. Green chili, good. It's time to go in with however many Thai green chilies you want. Maybe a bit see, more than that. The seeds in there. I'm getting a lot better with spice. You want your green curry to have very green color. If you'd like, you can also add a few of these red chilies as well. I'm just gonna add one or two. Yeah, one or two red chili, okay. Green colored curry. And now before we grind that up, we want to go in with about a half cup of cilantro stem. No, no, not cilantro stem. Authentic Thai green curry. Use cilantro root. Cilantro root, very hard to get in Western grocery store. Uncle Roger's so frustrated. Cannot get cilantro root anywhere here in UK. I think I'm gonna escape this country. Be refugee. Now once we've ground this all up, what you're looking at right here is Thai basil. Thai basil now? Yeah. This is no ordinary basil. This stuff right here is the best of the best basil. I'll go in with one- Wait, wait, no, 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 don't put the Thai basil in pesto and mortar. Thai basil go in at the end of cooking. This is not pesto, you're just trying to make pesto now, hiya. Thai basil, trying to keep out those stems if I can. Then one half cup of these dried kaffir lime leaf. Kaffir lime leaf, correct, but get better lime leaf it's so dry inside of which pyramid you get this lime leaf from did he just indiana jones into the pyramid next to the dead pharaoh and he just steal kaffir lime leaf from them hi yeah why so dry so, so dry. dry that leaf dryer than auntie helen how to use and finally to finish up this paste i'll go in with about five shallot shallot correct and optionally just a tiny touch of this mm. shrimp paste optionally just a tiny touch of this shrimp paste shrimp paste correct not optional don't be pussy Eat your shrimp paste. Easily the least appetizing ingredient we're using today, but just like fish sauce, which we'll add later, it adds depth to the overall flavor of this dish. So many white people fear shrimp paste. Even him, look at nephew Nick, use so little. Put more shrimp paste, nephew Nick. Use the right amount, not the white amount. And one last time, we pound. We're gonna take you to pound time. Ah uh, yeah, you both should start OnlyFan. Nobody gonna join because nephew Nick look too young. If I join your OnlyFan, I feel like pito uncle. This right here is the foundation of our recipe and it is a beautiful smooth curry paste that we've worked hard to achieve. Now, it's time to let our rice cooker get to work. Ooh, we rice cooker, good. Rice first, and here I have Rinsing down. rice, correct? Make sure you clean your dirty brain also. Until the water runs clear. Once we've rinsed off that rice, into our rice cooker it goes. He used same rice cooker as Uncle Roger. Fuyo! You see my rice cooker back there? See, same one, just different color. To know how much water to add, we'll use the classic finger method. Finger method, fuyo! The first notch on my finger. We know it's Ooh. ready to go. Now, Someone been watching all Uncle Roger video. Nephew Nick learning. Uncle Roger's so happy. I feel like saying, yeah! yeah. yeah. Time to cook our rice. It's time to break down this whole chicken right here. To begin, I like to slice in on the skin between each of the legs. Now we can separate off both of those legs and what you're looking at right here is both thigh. We feel for that joint between the thigh and the drum and we chop straight. You can cut off these wing tips and set them aside for whatever you like. Now once again, I'll too long. Joint, then cleanly trim off those wings. At this point by the fact that the skin is covering up the boot, we just need to remove both of the breasts. Two hours later. Set that carcass aside for later use. And that right there is a perfectly butchered oh, chicken. Done. Two breasts, finally. Two drums, two wings, and two thighs. I mean, that all correct, technique all correct, but that's the difference between Western and Asian cooking. Western cooking, so many steps, so many procedures. Asian cooking, just use feeling. Go see how my queen mother-in-law chopped chicken. She just whack it like it owe her money. After that long hour wait, here's our beautiful white rice. And it even comes with a free facial. Yeah, another dirty joke and Uncle Roger gonna give you a free facial. And you don't even need to wait 60 minutes. Now just before we start assembling our curry, I've also decided to make a nice basil oil by simply ba blanching a basil oil basil that will ultimately be able to dry for our final dish. In addition to some- This is some Western chef gourmet bullshit. Basil oil, nobody in Thailand make basil oil for Thai green curry. What you doing? No need so fancy. <laughs> that'll add a nice flavorful Thai basil pop. It's time to bring everything together and it doesn't take long. To start, I'll go with just a bit of water, immediately followed by our beautiful homemade curry paste. Water and curry paste in first, that's the home style cooking technique. 
Same technique Mark Green, Martha and Law use. We'll add up our chopped diced bite-sized chicken. Correct. Chopped and diced, I don't know why I said both of those at the same time. Followed by just a few more kaffir lime leaves. Next, oftentimes people will use coconut milk for this, but you actually want to use coconut cream so that the oil doesn't separate. Wait, wait, wait what, what he say? What, what he, he say? say? But you actually want to use coconut cream so that the oil doesn't separate. Hiya, that's the biggest mistake you make so far, nephew Nick. You want the oil to separate the thin layer of oil on top of green curry. That what make green curry taste good. McQueen mother-in-law don't let oil separate. Because she put chicken in with the skin, you remove chicken skin from your chicken. Where the oil gonna come from, nephew Nick? Where? This thick Ooh. coconut cream right here. All of mistake, that mistake. Curry. I mean, tell me that doesn't look good. And now it's time to toss in these eggplants. Can eggplant look nice? I'll toss these in along with some chocolate. No, 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 no. You cannot use red pepper for Thai green curry. Nobody do that. Where you learn this from? The, 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 the thing in the name? Green. Green curry. If this look green to you, you color blind. Color. And if you're not worried about things being too spicy, a few more red. See, one or two red chili enough. That okay. Touch of my palm. Sugar. Palm sugar, correct. Additional sweetener that would be used in Thai cooking. Of this fish, fish sauce, sauce very good because we can always add more later. A few. Tw add more. Add more. Fish sauce, queen of flavor. It's the only thing that can replace MSG in your food. Torn up Thai basil leaves and another little pinch of salt. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, it look a bit too white because not enough green chili. But that okay, I think that more subjective. Once we've brought this to a boil, we're nearly there. I'm gonna add in just a bit more Thai basil as well as some freshly cut red pepper that's gonna be Why? And crisp. Why you add more wrong thing? Why, nephew Nick? As well as some freshly cut red pepper that's gonna be nice and crisp for that texture. And once I- Texture. Texture useless if the thing wrong. If you want texture, why do you just add sawdust? Sawdust so much texture. You got the dustiness so much texture. Hiya. Tasted that green curry. Ooh, hoo -hoo. And made sure that all- I mean most ingredient correct, so I'm sure it still tastes good. Plate our Thai green curry. I'll start with just some of my rice. Next, I'll come in with my nice hot green curry and put it right over the top. Of it. Mm. To everybody watching, I mm. begin to describe to you the smells that are coming off of this pan right now. The amount of effort that- Look at this green curry. You can't see a layer of oil on it. We'll finish this entire dish off with some- Oh, that's why he made the basil oil. He want to cheat to get the green oil color green basil oil, which I must say I'm equally proud of. And this here is an authentic Thai green curry. Nephew Nick, you improved so much from the first ramen video I review. And Uncle Roger never put my leg down from chair, so I give you that. You, you make three big mistakes here. Pounding technique not good. You should want the oil to separate. And please, no red pepper in Thai green curry. Go subscribe to Nephew Nick, because I think his next video, he gonna earn Uncle title. Niece and nephew, thank you for a wonderful year. Merry Christmas to all my niece and nephew. Happy holiday. Yeah! <laughs> this chef looks so young. I think he the cook for Epstein Island. <laughs> Even when driving, nephew Nick still fluent in language of hand hiya. Drive your car, don't drive me crazy. Toasting spice, a lot like checking your privilege. So many white people forget to do it. Uncle Roger is so woke. <laughs> Use the right amount, not the white amount. That's a really good joke. I'm very proud of that one. I'm very proud of that one. Because nephew Nick look too young, if I join your only fan, I feel like pedo uncle, which is very common type of uncle, by the way. I don't know why that stereotype about uncle being pedo. Uncle Roger want to find out. Maybe I make a documentary to answer the burning question. Why do so many uncle become pedo? What make them pedo? This is an Uncle Roger video, not a podcast. <laughs> Stop riffing with yourself so much. Oh yeah, I have a podcast now too, so maybe that's that's what's influencing it. Uh, nieces and nephews, go support me, you know? Uh, it's called the Haya Podcast. Link will be in the description. Go check it out. First episode is up right now.